Can you imagine trying to make a huge oil tanker change course by pushing it from the outside? It's nigh on impossible, isn't it? That's how I felt, though, when I was asked to introduce a new organization into that oil tanker that is Fleur Corporate. What to do? How to start? How do I market this? How do I create a public relations strategy that will help me achieve success? What mighty marketing miracles can I conjure up? Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, honored guests, today I'd like to share with you some of the marketing ideas, some of the public relations strategies that I've thought of that would help us achieve that success. And you can see on the screen some of the agenda items that I'm going to talk about. From where we're going with the name, to our objectives, the actions. I'll give you a few examples of what we did and some of the lessons that I learned in the process. It all starts with the aim. If we don't know where we're going, how do we know how to get there? Something along the lines that the Cheshire Cat said to Alice in Alice in Wonderland. But we need to know what we're trying to achieve before we can define what to do. And in this example, successfully communicate the new data governance organization and scope such that people understand, willingly step forward and engage. Three key points that we wanted to achieve. How are we going to do that? Well, we need to strategize the way we want to go about it. What marketing ideas, what sort of techniques do we want to use? And again, nice and easy, simplify, standardize, and communicate. Make it easy for people. If it's complex, they won't engage. They won't certainly understand. Make it standardized. Floor is global. We need to have the same message in every single place. Make it very clear that when we're talking, we're talking about data governance. And communicate. The only really way of getting people to understand something is to communicate to them. Not just on a website or something like that, but face to face. Get, catch people in the eye and look them. Look them down. Get them to connect to what we're trying to achieve. Great, so we've got our aim, we've got our strategies. What do we want to do next? We need to think about the factors that are going to affect us as we try to get this marketing campaign out the door. And I produced three of them on the board. There should be no surprise. Resistance to change, number one. Floor has been around a long time, a long time. People have been set in their ways. The people who have been here working for 50 years for Floor, they don't want to change. How do we get them to change? How do we get them to understand? When people understand what needs to be done, they engage. If we can get them to understand what it's all about, what is the value to them? Why are we doing this? That's how we can deal with resistance to change. We need to consider that in our marketing campaign. Variable perspectives. Huge demographics. As I said, 50 years with Fleur. We've got millennials, we've got baby boomers, and beyond. How do we have our public relations strategy meet every element of that demographic? And then finally, communication layers. We're not only trying to address the corporate floor, which is 50,000 plus strong. We're trying to address specific business lines, specific offices, specific projects and specific individuals, but it's the individuals that'll make it happen. So there are three factors that I wanted to make sure we considered as we produced our marketing and public relations campaign. Okay, we have an aim, we have our strategies, now we need some objectives and what we're trying to do. And these are the four objectives that we pulled out. There was a few more underlying, but these are the key objectives that we wanted to achieve. And the first of those is use multiple types of communication. Well, what do I mean? The first is this, face-to-face -face communication. Now let's create a web presence. We have a corporate intranet site, let's have a web presence. Let's create training slides, let's create presentations, let's do blogs, let's have Q&A sessions, FAQs. Every single way that we can attack this to get that message across. If you have a single form of communication, people can dodge out the way and avoid it. If you come at them from every angle, hopefully it'll sink in. And that's what our objective was, to have multiple facets of communication. Then we needed branding. We needed to make it something unique, something memorable, something that people see and go, oh, I know what that is. That's data governance. And you can see our graphic on here, and I'll talk about the graphic in a little bit. 
How about something unique and memorable? Build a global presence. Certainly in this Calgary office, I could talk about better, better governance, and I could get people to understand. But what about Manila, Amsterdam, Santiago, all those other major offices? We need to create somebody who can keep that same message, keep that same momentum. Face to face is the best communication, so we need somebody there who can communicate in that style. So we need to build a global presence. And then the last of all, talk, talk, and talk again. And it ties to that first one of using multiple facets of communication. The rule of seven applies. It takes seven times to hear a message before it finally sinks in. Some people take a little bit longer. We intended to go out there and speak to people seven times. If they've done a training course, ask them to do the training again. If they think they'll understand, challenge them and guide them if they've not quite got it quite right. But that is totally key on how we get this message across. It's all new. And if it's new, people need to be repeat told. Okay, we have our objectives. The objectives are going to tell us how to achieve our aim. What specific actions do we need to do to achieve those objectives? First of all, engage corporate marketing. I have no idea about marketing or public relations, but I know people who do, and they're just down the corridor. And that was the first thing I did, I engaged them, because they know how to produce graphics that speak to people. They know how to put some words together that speak to people. How to upload onto a website or create a corporate marketing. So the first thing I wanted to do was really engage our corporate marketing team to gain their expertise. Produce a schedule of events. We wanted to have some sort of structure around this. There's a lot of things going on to get this marketing campaign. So let's have a timeline. First, we're going to do this and this and this, and we're going to do that next week and the following week. And then by a certain period, we'll have completed our marketing campaign and got everything out the door. Write the plan. It may sound obvious, but we need to plan everything out. Who we're going to engage? What activities we're going to do? What objectives are we trying to achieve with each of those unique facets? Whether it's creating that, that corporate website or it's creating those presentations that we want to train and how do we upload them to the floor university and there's all these different facets right down to the detail we need to plan all the activities and give ownership to people create and collect that corporate marketing marketing material there's lots of it i can't do it all but i can find people who will do each item of it and people who are skilled in those items so we wanted to start to get that together there's no point trying to communicate something and get out the door all of a sudden like oh have we done that yet oh no we're waiting for that and it's going to take two months and now everybody's going, uh, is there any more information out there? We need to have everything together so that when we hit the road, we hit the road running and we can maintain. Install that presence in the major offices. I talked about it earlier. We need to engage the leadership teams around the globe, find the right person, the right person that's going to talk about data governance the same way I want to talk about data governance, to get them engaged. Meet the office leadership. Get out there and visit these, these offices, speak to the leadership, get them to buy in, and that can help sell the message across the entire organization. And then, of course, execute the plan. Sometimes we write a plan, but we don't execute it. Well, why did we write it in the first place? Let's execute the plan. Things change, of course. That's why we plan. But then we need to execute that plan. Okay, that's what we did. But here are some of the examples of exactly how we did and how it worked out. First of all, that brand. First question people ask is, what is data governance? So we created a graphic that says it all. It binds together various components of data management. Simple, colorful graphic that speaks volumes. People will know that brand. We continued on that theme of simplistic graphics with thematic colors. And we keep those colors going through all our graphics. The what, the how, and the where to unison execution. You don't need the words. You can see it because it all ties together. Roles and tasks, new roles going out in the company, so people need to understand them a little bit. Make it simple with that very clear organizational chart in the middle, and have some of the key points for those roles as you roll out. Blogs. I did a blog, I Am Floor, a little while ago, went on the corporate website, and we continue to have articles and messages going out onto our corporate website. It's just another means of communication and marketing your material and getting that message across. Infographics one-stop shop for communication. What is it? Break down structures. Who owns it at the top? What's changed? What's new? What's different? How do I show compliance? What are the benefits to me? All on one page. 
and we continue to drive these infographics out. So what did I learn going through all of this? First of all, start strong and maintain momentum. Have a strong plan, get it all together, get out on the street, and then keep going and keep going hard. It takes a long while for these things to be learned. People make it happen, global presence, get in front of people, show them you're passionate, show them your commitment. If you're excited, people are excited. Make it interesting. Demonstrate the value and the benefit to everybody. And be careful of information overload. If you try and make someone drink from the fire hydrant, it just doesn't work. But keep that flow of information going, target it intelligently so it sinks and builds up that knowledge level and then people will start to get the message. Are we there yet? Not quite. But that big oil tanker that is Flora is slowly changing direction and getting the message. And it takes those mighty marketing moments to make magic happen. Our investors. Again, everyone take a minute to complete your evaluations. And Tammy, if you should advise us when that minute's up. Thank you. Thank you so much, Matt. One of the things I really appreciate